What's up everyone? Spiral marks the ninth movie in the Saw franchise, so that means it's time to rank them. Real quick, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Tell me how you would rank the Saw movies. And remember that this is just my opinion. There's no definitive ranking of the Saw movies. This is just my ranking. Be sure to share your ranking down below in the comments. Anyway, let's get into it. So coming in at last place and in number 9 for me, and maybe a bit of an unpopular opinion is going to be Saw 4. This movie for me is really like all over the place. The Saw games and traps in this movie are really lame and like un even like unpleasant at times with some of the scenes. Just really like hard to watch stuff, not in a good way like some of the earlier Saw movies, but just really just like not fun to watch um, because it's just so weird with what they're doing. The editing in this movie is really like choppy and weird. And it's really just like all over the place and there's a lot going on in this movie. Obviously after the events of Saw 3 this movie had to do something to continue the franchise. I think here it just fails on what it tries to do with this new detective plot with Mark Hoffman and then you know, even you have Donnie Wahlberg back in this movie who's completely wasted in this movie. He's just like hanging over a block of ice the entire movie. And overall this movie for me is just really a mess and easily for me it was the weakest movie in the franchise. So at number 8 is going to be the only other movie in this franchise that I really dislike, and that's going to be Jigsaw. This movie really tries to like reboot the Saw franchise with this really, there's all these new color palettes, and the whole movie just feels different than any classic Saw movie. And there's an entire new cast to this movie, and overall for me it just fails. The traps in this movie, a lot like Saw, Saw 4, are really just lame and uncreative. The movie is just, for me, it's really bland and tasteless. And it really, the plot in this movie is just not intriguing at all. And for me, the like like every movie in the Saw franchise has a detective plot where they're trying to hunt down Jigsaw. And for me, this one is by far the worst. It's just a really a pain to watch. I'm not interested in it at all. I'm barely interested in the Saw games that are going on. And the detective plot is just super lame. And overall, this movie is just really a mess to me as it is, as it is with Saw 4. And I just really didn't like this one. It really just gave me all sorts of wrong vibes and I really had a hard time with this one. So at number 7 for me is going to be Saw 3D or Saw the Final Chapter or Saw 7 or whatever you want to call, call it. Either way for me this movie's all over the place. The gore in this movie is way over the top and this movie really tries to go out on a bang with just everything. The twists are up up a notch, the gore is up a notch, the games are up a notch, everything in this movie is just crazy and it really just goes for it all and it, for the most part it pretty much fails on all those regards. The blood in this movie is infamously pink, everyone kind of knows that if they've seen it, it's just, it looks really bad for whatever reason and that's really uh, unfortunate for this movie. In general for this movie I like the plot of it, I like the premise of a guy who's kind of faking being in the Saw games then he gets placed into the real Saw games. I think that's really interesting. Pretty simply this movie is just way too over the top, it really just throws everything at the table. They re I don't think they really cared how good it was, they just kind of wanted to get this last little cash grab out there. It really suffers from the fact that this franchise has nowhere to go from everything that's happened so far in it and it just they really don't know what to do so this results in that terrible ending twist which i'm not going to spoil but if you've seen it you know this uh, the ending of this movie is really bad and it's just really a terrible end for what was supposed to be the saw franchise and the saw final chapter like this movie really is just the culmination of a franchise that has drawn been drawn out way too long with way too many plot lines and way too many characters and this movie is really the result of it while still being like, ridiculous with the concept. So at number 6 for me is going to be Saw 5. Saw 5 is probably the last one that I have major issues with. It suffers from the fact that this franchise really has nowhere to go after the events of the first 4 movies or even the first 3. 4 also struggles from that same thing. So it's just really following the lame, this lame detective case as it kind of introduces us to Mark Hoffman. It's very similar to Saw 4 in the plot line. But this plot line where this guy is hunting Mark Hoffman is just, it's really not interesting and I just, it follows it so much and there's this, I'm not sure, but this game might have like the least amount of time spent on the Saw games. There's just not a lot of it in here and the Saw games themselves are pretty lame. It kind of has this like group thing going where they're all trying to like, they have to work together to survive. It's really pointless in a lot of ways where it doesn't really connect to the story and it's just it kind of comes off as pretty meaningless and you don't really get a conclusion to the, the Saw games so that was also really lame. The only part I really liked about this movie is the ending where Mark Hoffman kind of Mark Hoffman and Detective kind of duel it off in a way. I really liked the ending I thought that was pretty intense but other than that this movie's pretty lame it's probably the most forgettable movie in the franchise. So coming in in 5th place is going to be Saw 6. Saw 6 for me is the ultimate guilty pleasure movie of the Saw franchise. Everything in this movie is just a lot of fun. The gore, the Saw games, the plot even. It's all pretty much just for fun. And it really just, this movie feels like it really just serves to entertain. And I really enjoy that about it. 
the protagonist in this movie is probably one of the better Saw protagonists as he's just, you know, he's kind of this like sleazy guy who you don't like, but you can't really decide whether or not to root for him as he's kind of like going through the Saw games. And the Saw games in this um, in this movie are actually pretty creative and, I, and really a nice spin on the concept as they kind of do different things with him having to save people. So that's really interesting. I really like that idea about it. Mark Hoffman, who's obviously the you know, the main villain for the last four movies, he, he's really great as the villain in this movie. And his plot here is pretty good with him kind of trying to just stay Jigsaw and trying not to get caught. It's kind of, it's not as overboard as it is with 5 and 4 with with what he's doing. And it's kind of, Jigsaw's wife is investigating him, I believe. So that's kind of what's going on in this one. It's done a lot better, I think, than it is done in Saw 5. But overall, I, Mark Hoffman's a really good villain for the franchise. It sucks. The scripts weren't better for him, but I think as a villain, he was a really good for the franchise. And this movie really shows that. This movie's pretty ridiculous at times, but it's still really a solid one. Definitely one of the better movies in the franchise. My base issue with this movie is it keeps trying to like change everything with these new twists and these new kind of plot details that just kind of throw everything over the over everything off the ship, and it just really keeps trying to change everything. And that just doesn't work because the last five movies have all been trying to do that exact same thing. So when this movie tries to do it, it just doesn't work. So that was really unfortunate. Once again, I'll talk about it a lot, but this is just the culmination of this franchise being dragged out way too long and Saw 6 is an example of that but still despite this one's flaws it's still a ton of fun I, I, just, I really enjoy this movie as a whole it's really easy to watch it's got a great ending and I, it's definitely one of the more watchable ones of the, the franchise so coming at number four for me is going to be Spiral, the newest entry in the Saw franchise for me here the plot is pretty solid and I really like Chris Rock in the lead this whole movie really feels like fresh for the franchise as it really kind of tries to change everything up and tries to reboot the franchise and it really I think this one serves as really a good first step in rebooting this franchise that really has struggled since like Saw 3. This whole movie is just very very vibrant and very creative and I really think it does what Jigsaw should have done where Jigsaw kind of tried to do its kind of its own take on the Saw movies. This movie more tried to recreate the Saw movies and I think that's a lot better of an idea. I really like pretty much all the characters in this movie the saw games are fine they're not amazing i wouldn't say but they're definitely better than some of the ones in the recent movies but overall this movie's pretty solid i think the plot's a little underdeveloped and maybe could have used a little more time in the movie just to flush things more flush things out a little more but it's really it's a solid movie with good performances from the leads it's nice to have you know big names in the saw franchise and it's really just a nice nod to the original Saw franchise while still furthering furthering the franchise and trying to develop it more so we can get more Saw movies in there. I think it was definitely a success in my book and it comes in here at number four. So coming at number three is going to be Saw 3. This one is pretty good to me. The story is really strong with Amanda and um, John, John, John Kramer as the really the serial killers in the movie and they kidnap a doctor to treat him. And they really use that as part of the game with Jeff in the game. And he's trying to like get into his wife. But we don't know that obviously. So that's a really good concept. The premise here is really strong. The Saw games in this movie are alright. They're nothing special I don't think. But they're definitely good enough for the movie. And the story really helps it. Helps you not rely as much on the Saw games. This one but pretty simply this one has Tobin Bell as Jigsaw. And that automatically just makes it better. When you have his amazing acting mixed with his really his elements of how Jigsaw, of how he as Jigsaw justifies what he's doing with, you know, killing people or not killing but making people fight for their life and making trying to get people to appreciate life again, that kind of stuff. And you really get a lot of that in here with Tobin Bell as Jigsaw. And that's just, that's the strongest part of the franchise to me. And this movie has plenty of it. So that definitely makes it stronger. But overall, I think this movie is just a pretty solid horror movie. It's not necessarily bad in any any regard it's just it's not like up there with the best the top two are in my opinion are way above the rest for me but i definitely like this one the plot's really good i like the ending the ending's pretty crazy with what happens maybe a little too crazy i do think this movie's a little too long um maybe like at least 15 minutes too long you get way too much backstory that we just don't need and this movie really starts that where we just keep getting way too many plot beats in the movie and every single movie after that pretty much followed that exact same thing where we just there's just way too much going on and this will forever be the movie where they should have ended it, where they should not have made four, and they should have just left it as a trilogy. And I think it would have been this movie would be in higher regard if it was left as a trilogy. But still, I think this movie is a pretty solid one. So coming at number two for me is going to be Saw Two. 
Saw 2 is obviously the follow-up to the original Saw movie where it really just amps everything up. The games are bigger, there's more people in the games, there's more characters, there's more plot lines. We have a detective team investigating Tobin Bell or Jigsaw and really while this movie amps up the stakes in every way, it just works for me. The traps in this movie are at their best in the franchise as there's so many traps in here that just make you have to look away. They're so just hard to watch, especially like the needle pit one. Ugh. And like I mentioned with Saw 3, Tobin Bell is in here as Jigsaw, and that just makes it automatically better. When you get to have his his ideas with his kind of how he justifies what he's doing, that stuff's the best stuff in the franchise. And Saw 2 also gets plenty of it. Um, pretty much this has the most in it with him and Donnie Wahlberg talking. A lot of really good stuff in here. And then the ending for this movie might was really one of the best endings in the franchise. Maybe only seconded to Saw 1, which I'll get to in a second. But the ending is just really just... like really crazy with what they do and a huge twist in the end and I really liked it. But overall this is really just one of the one of the better horror horror movies we've gotten in recent in like the since the turn of the century. It's it's really solid. It does everything right. It really is a really good sequel to the original, not quite as good, but it's definitely really good. My only issue with this movie, it's a little goofy at times. It almost didn't know what it was. So I guess added these like goofy elements like there's a scene where the girl she like puts her arms in like the razor trap. It's it's, it's really goofy where the guy like cuts that number off the back of his neck. There's a lot of scenes like that that just don't work for me. But other than that, I think it's a, it's a really solid movie. I really like all the characters in here, and the twist at the end is just, it shocks me every single time. So coming in in first place, and you know what it is, it has to be Saw. The original from 2004, directed by James Wan. The one that started it all, and really just, pretty much, this is really the consensus best one. It's it's so, it's, it's just so good, and how it just takes a simple concept of two, two guys in a room together, they're both chained to poles, and there's a dead guy in the middle. It just takes that, and it just expands on that, and it just creates a terrific movie. You, it really flows well, the movie, and, and there's a lot of just twists along the way, all, all building up to the crazy ending at the end, which I don't want to spoil if you haven't seen it, but you have to see Saw. It's so good, and like the ending is just probably maybe my favorite like twist ending to a horror movie ever. It's just so good in what they do there. If you're not into the gore of the Saw franchise, the gore in this one isn't too bad. There's one part towards the end that's pretty bad, but other than that, it's not too too bad when it comes to the gore so it's definitely going to be more watchable for a more broad audience i think and that's one of the reasons this one is more popular as it doesn't get ridiculous with what it's trying to do james wan knew what he was doing here so he didn't go over the top with anything and in this movie the characters are really good like the two guys in the room are really explored well but the obviously the standout is john Kramer and jigsaw whatever you want to call him he's just the great he's, he's one of my favorite probably my favorite horror horror villain and this movie is where it starts it all and you just he's really a badass in this movie with, with what he does with the scene with like danny glover and everything in the detective scene he's really good in there as i love his character in this movie and in this franchise but pretty simply saw is just a really good movie it asks really hard questions and it really tries to answer them in really weird ways and that's just what makes horror so great and there's lots of like big ideas and crazy concepts and that's just what makes this movie so good and really such a successful and iconic horror movie and really uh, you know it spawned this mega franchise mega horror franchise you know we've got eight movies since um, but none have been able to top Saw as the best one. All right, so that would do it for my ranking of all nine Saw movies. I love talking about this franchise. This is really one of my favorite horror franchises. I grew up with it. I'm so happy to be able to rank them here, and I'm really glad that we got another one that I, so I can talk about this franchise more because, like I said, I grew up with them. This, this is one of my favorite horror franchises of all time. Anyway, so make sure if you enjoy the video to like and subscribe, and make sure to leave your list of the ranking of all Saw, of all nine Saw movies down below in the comments. Anyways, that will do it for the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.